But before we do anything, we want to introduce to you the, the members of the Sheboygan Athletic Hall of Fame. And we will do this in the order in which the, the Hall of Fame started in 1993. And that's uh, Dave Moyer was the guy who thought this was a good idea and we should get it going and get it started to recognize some of the great players we've had over the years. So we put the committee together and we started our Hall of Fame. The first year, uh, Chuck Schreiter and Danny Moyer went in. Second year, Dave Gear and Bob Sauger. David is here, right? And a total round of applause. David Gear is at the ballpark despite the fact that it's his 35th wedding anniversary. So that's just a great week. And then the next year was Rick Baumgart and Ron Hare. We lost Ron a couple years ago with Bunny here, Bunny. Lee Wettenkamp. Al Albert. Dave Kohler. Steve Cole, G-Man, Dale Aaron, Tom Ecker, Tom Gardner, Tom Good Nation, that's too good. Fred Forstering, Fred Um. Charlie Comier and Dick Larson were in the same year. Charlie is here. We lost Dick Larson. Jason Bartell. Rick Wright. Michael Casper. I didn't see Mike. He's not here, huh? Uh, Tim Sparrow. And Dick Rasmussen from last year. Dick's got a long commute from New York, so he wasn't able to make it also. Um, I'd like to call on Dave Moyer first, who was uh, Randy's manager for a number of years, and has one or two things he'd like to say. Thank you. Um, Randy was a Sheboygan guy who was among the first wave of players to make an impact on Sheboygan, on the Sheboygan baseball scene since baseball was reinstated as a high school sport after a 25-year hiatus. I try to mention that when I can because I want to make sure that our community remembers uh, that fact and that we don't take that for granted that what we had in 2011 was not always so. I coached Randy during summer ball all the way back to his sophomore year in high school which began a player-manager relationship that spanned a total of about 10 years. Randy is very, is very special to me because uh, the one thing I respect above all in a player is his desire to play. And nobody that I know wanted to play baseball more than Randy did. He did not really come into his own as a player until his senior year in high school or so. And when he first